I always like cars that have a great story, like this 58 Impala. This belongs to Sam DeCrieff. Sam, come on in here. Now, you I had did. one of these when you were a kid? Yes, when I was 18 years old, I had a 58 Impala like this in pearl and candy. Right. And uh, so my son-in-law wanted to do something. We were in the dairy business together, right. so we're farmers. and. He wanted to surprise me, so we worked on the thing for two years, but he took it to another level. Oh, I so didn't, you didn't know he was doing this? Not at all. Oh, okay. No. Okay. And he gave it to me over a glass of wine one night in Palm Desert. We were just sitting there, and he drives up with this car. I said, Pete, you got to see this car. It's unbelievable. This is what I drove. He says, I know, Sam. And I had no idea, so we went around it. And then I see the license plate that says Sam's 58. Oh. So, uh, yeah, that's how it all came about. But uh, Santini did an unbelievable job. He did a beautiful he, job on the he's car. An artist Walk job. us through it. As I yeah. said before, uh, I like this is what I like. I like keeping the, the GM lines just clean yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. I see no door That's handles. the way we did it in those days. We yeah. nosed it, decked it, and yeah. shaved everything off. Right. Everything's electrical off the uh, right. key. There you go. There we go. Cool. Yeah, you don't see many 58s. 58 was a one-year-only deal for yeah, Chevy. You see yeah. a lot of 55, yeah, five, six, six, seven. sevens, and the 58. It's yeah, amazing yeah. how hard they are to uh, yeah, find. Yeah, hard he, to find. He looked for it a long time. And you really did it up in all the periods. Yeah, the stuff headers, you were a kid. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing. That's yeah. basically. Yeah, tuck and roll interior. That was the hot thing yeah, when I was in yeah. high school. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, can we pop the hood? Sure. Here you go. I always like that unique 348 valve cover. That was the only year they did it, I think. Uh, that was the truck motor, right? Right. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. They did, of course, that in the 409, but very distinctive look to it. You can always tell a 409 or, or a yeah. 348 from that yeah, even valve though cover. It Upgraded it, modern yeah. uh, dual master exactly. cylinder. And it wasn't so much about the engine in my day. It was all custom. It was the, right. the, the Watson thing and the Santini and George yeah. Barris. You know, it's all. A really, uh, a really California thing. This is right. where it all this started. Is, this yeah. is right, yeah. yeah. And the, the dual spotlights, of course, yeah, as well. Yeah, that was Appleton's, very cool. Yeah. Show us the trunk. So, yeah, you're not going to be carrying a lot of uh, cans of oil and jacks and stuff in here, are you? No, you keep yeah. it pretty clean. Yeah. And what's under here? You got your sound That's system. the battery, and then that's okay. the uh, disc player and got oh, okay. all the, the toys in there. So. Cool. Very good. Very yeah. good. Well, thank you, Jay. That's well, a nice job. Uh, you yeah. got a nice son-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah. You have to give him a raise. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing <laughs> right. us your thank car. You. Very thank cool. Thank you for so I'm at Auto Books the other day in Burbank, my favorite uh, bookstore, and I see this book called Custom Land. It's uh, the custom car photography of James Potter, 1955 to 1959. And since I was a little kid back in that era, uh, these are the cars that had the greatest impression on me. Cars with just wild, outlandish paint schemes you don't see anymore. Cars like this one over here, this 58 Impala. This is not mine. Uh, but we brought that just an example of what's in the book. This is uh, Tom Taylor. He's the uh, author of this book. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Hi. So uh, where did this all come from? Where did you find these, uh, well, the, the pictures and the whole deal? Well, James was a, a freelance photographer. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of stuff for Peterson Publishing Company. That would be Hot Rod, Car Craft, Motor okay. Trend. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he had this collection of photography that sat for years. And I did an article on uh, a custom uh, uh, paint guy from the 50s, his name is Larry Watson, mm -hmm. years ago for a magazine article and came across this treasure trove of uh, photography and uh, wanted to do a book. And it's taken a while to get to it, but uh, we're finally here with the book. So these pictures are all 40, 50 years old. This is all vintage photography. Because yeah. you know, they, they have that slightly washed out look that comes from that era. Yeah, we didn't color correct anything. We no, went ahead no. and kind of ran it the way it was for the effect. And uh, But it's a fantastic collection, two and a quarter photography, a lot of black yeah. and white, a lot of yeah. color. And so this is all vintage stuff taken between 56 and 59. The, car, the book is called Custom Land, the custom car photography of James Potter, 1955-1959. Terrific book. I mean, it, it's filled with all sorts of wonderful pictures. And if you have a certain age like I am, it brings back all sorts of nostalgia. Girls in these kind of sweaters, you know that, <laughs> you know that whole deal. But you don't see cars that look like this. And you brought an example today. This is a 1958 uh, Chevy Impala. I remember this has the 348. It's got the lake pipes on it. And that's about as wild a custom paint job as I've ever seen. You just don't see this anymore. I don't know quite when it went out of style. This was typical of the era. This was typical of that Watson style of painting. Mm -hmm. uh, these cars were coming out of the Linwood, Compton, Bellflower, okay. uh, North, North Long Beach area. And, uh, and they this... were doing the customizing with the paint at this point. Uh, George Barris had done all the chopped right. mercs and things like that. But they were real involved cars, took a lot of time and money. This was a way where a guy could 
get a custom car you know, fairly quickly, and they're wild. I mean, they've got a lot. And with the cars. exception of the door handles being taken off, uh, if I looked at this car initially, I'd think, oh, it's been lowered. But it's all a visual trick with the paint, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't think people realize just how hard this kind of work is to do. And the, the man who did this is really an artist. Pete Santini. Pete, come on in here. As you can see, he's not much of a dresser, but, uh, <laughs> but he's an, an amazing guy. <laughs> People live in glass houses. I told him to dress How up. How many hours we are we looking at here? I mean, this must take a lifetime to do. The taping, yes. The, oh, well, of course, the preparation is many, many okay. hours and weeks long, but just the taping and then uh, getting it all right and measured out and everything else. But yeah, mostly the taping is, is the work. Once you, once you get the paint and the gun, it's, it's a lot like Thanksgiving dinner. It takes hours and hours, and you whoop it down, you go watch football, and you're done. So. You see, I can appreciate these things, and, but I have no eye to do it myself. I mean, how does one decide, wow, that's going to look cool? I mean, do you, do, you put a, do you put this design on something else first, well, or do you just sort of, in your imagination, kind of do it and see what it looks like? Well, fortunately on this car, Steve Stanford drew it up uh, in a, actually the opposite paint scheme. It was actually supposed to be candy green with pearl white panels and stuff. Okay. We flipped it around after they got to my shop, realizing the interior was going to be white, et cetera. So, I had a good basis from Steve's rendering and then, you know, my two cents and Steve's five cents and this is what we came up with also being obviously, like Tom said, Watson influenced. Right, right. Now, and you have your own website as well, yes, right? Sir. What is it? SantiniUSA.com. SantiniUSA.com. Yes. So if somebody wanted their car done, they could go to you and get it done. That's right. Cool. Uh, well, it's, it's just amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. It's got the lake pipes. You don't see those anymore. I don't even think kids know what that means. That was a, in the Bonneville salt flats. You're going to run on the dry lakes. You would uncork that so you'd have an open exhaust, and then you'd cork them up for the street again. Yeah, this is a, a, an era that has gone by, and if you're probably 19 to 20 years old, this is, you probably have no memory of this. Well, you can relive it here. It's custom land, custom car photography, James Potter, 55 to 59. And they get this where? Is it Motor Books? They can get it from Motor Books, uh, uh, Amazon.com. I mean, it's available everywhere. Cool, right. cool. Well, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for showing us the car. Thank you very Pete, much. Pete, you're a real thanks artist. For having us. Nice work. Thank nice you very work. much. Nice job.